So I have here the first two original Dr. Nim prototypes. As you can probably tell, this is the original prototype. Um, and it's missing some of the toggles, so it does not work anymore. Um, but you can see that the toggles actually look like the old uh, Digicomp 2 toggles. They're more straightforward, and they haven't got that distinctive Dr. Nim look. Uh, and it seems like this probably worked at some point because the release here is actually weighted with three paper clips um, and probably still release some marbles out of there. Uh, as you can see, it generally looks like what Dr. Nim turned into. But you can see the second prototype is, of course, a lot closer to the finished product. It's, in fact, almost exactly the same. So here we got it set up to start a game. Uh, and let's test if this still works. 15 marbles at the top. There you go. It does still work. Okay, so it's my turn. I'm going to not play to win. I'm going to take a three to just kind of show you how this will work. And so it's just, as you can see, it's just an accumulator. I'll oh, see, I screwed up there. Now I'll put it back to Dr. Nim's turn. Let him go. Take one and two, right? And two. So you can see it still works after so long. I'll oh, see the weighted thing got out of the way, but I'll show you how that works in the back. So you can see that when I push this, I'll knock one of the marbles out. And it's quite simple, it's held together by this little pin on the prototype. You can see it's uh, quite a simple mechanism there, and it's just cut exactly right. Another thing you'll notice too is that in this prototype, I'm not sure how it is in the original uh, product, but the uh, curves on the top are actually slightly different so that the ball can roll all along smoothly there. And if these are in the wrong order, it won't work. So there you go. I did, there it is.